And then we'll dive into this water section. It says, if you trace the history of water back billions of years, can you do that? No. No, you can't. So that's uh, not science right there. It is likely, again, that's another fuzzy word, that water provided the liquid environment for, the, for life to begin. So they're saying that life begins in water. And uh, so again, not, not testable, not scientific. And this video, Why is Water Essential to Life on Earth, says, you probably figured out that water equals life. It's like, say what? Water equals life? Well, how do they define life? Well, this one says, uh, Chemical Origins of Life video says, a minimal definition of life is that the system has to be able to replicate itself. Can water replicate itself? Does that grow? Does that reproduce? That's not life, no. And then this one, it goes on to say, this is the working definition that NASA, the Civilian Space Agency, has adopted in their research in search for life and their understanding of life. And so the, the so-called NASA working definition is as follows. Life is a self-sustained chemical system that is capable of undergoing Darwinian evolution. <laughs> okay, talk about begging the question there. The Darwinian evolution. And so can water turn it, have that capability for replicate and Darwinian evolution? No. So that's false statement number one for those keeping score.